There is a hurricane out here and we are heading straight into it. Winds are super bad and seas are not great. Love to everyone. That is the heartbreaking final message sent from a crew member on a cargo ship that's vanished in the Bermuda Triangle. The Coast Guard still hopes to find survivors. So far, they've recovered one body and spotted debris from the 790-foot-long cargo ship. CBS 4's Donna Rapato is in Miami with the latest on the search. We see massive cargo ships like Enfado come in and out of Port Miami right behind me every single day, loaded with containers like those back there, as Enfado was before it tilted and sank. Some of those containers piled on El Faro are now part of two debris fields the Coast Guard found Sunday in the Caribbean. They also found one of the ship's shredded up lifeboats, life rings, life jackets, and human remains in a survival suit. The ship was headed from Jacksonville to Puerto Rico last Tuesday. As it entered the Bermuda Triangle near the Bahamas, El Faro's engine stopped Thursday for unknown reasons. Just sitting there, monster hurricane Joaquin pummeled the 790-foot ship, loaded with containers, the crew radioing it. It was tilting and taking on water. Then radio silence. You're talking up to 140 mile an hour winds, seas upwards of 50 feet, visibility basically at zero. Those are challenging conditions um, to survive in. We believe it sank in, in the last known position that we recorded on Thursday. 28 Americans and five Polish sailors made up El Faro's crew, many like Danielle Randolph reaching out to family for what may be the last time. There is a hurricane out here and we are heading straight into it. Winds are super bad and seas are not great. Love to everyone. Stephen Schultz's family lightens their own mood, remaining hopeful Schultz is alive and well. I think he's hanging on a coconut tree yeah, somewhere. <laughs> drinking rum ties. 53-year-old <laughs> Captain Michael Davidson, a 20-year veteran of the sea, thought he could beat Joaquin just a tropical storm when El Faro first set sail. But Joaquin grew quickly, speeding past Category 1, 2, and 3 status and settling into a Category 4. The NTSB is investigating quite a task now that evidence of El Faro lies about three miles underwater. And the Coast Guard says it continues to search for possible survivors about 35 miles northeast of the Bahamas' Crooked Islands. Near Port Miami, Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News, tonight.